We also did a significant rework of the T-Edit and T-Memo controls. That's something that started in 11.3, but is now available across all platforms. We did a lot of change in FireMonkey to support this feature. There are new properties like auto-select, character case. We improved the undo and redo with an improved T-Undo Manager component. Address a lot of positioning of the caret for edits on Windows and uh, implemented a lot of additional features. Uh, same for iOS. We did some further improvements there for the T-Edit and for Android even more, specifically with the management of the cursor and the position, uh, the proper rendering for the current point and um, support for gestures. Beside Skia and the T-Edit control, there is further work done in FireMonkey. I won't even go through each of these items in detail, but they are relevant. They help us improving the quality and the library quite a bit. What I want to point out is the universal t -phone manager, uh, universal meaning all platforms, and also in particular, the ability to do split views or split screen in on mobile platforms. So what we enable is the ability to have a FireMonkey application taking only a portion of the screen, not the entire screen. This is an example of a phone with a FireMonkey application and the browser, and also the ability at runtime to resize the form and have the proper layout recalculated and updated, similarly to what happens on desktop where you generally are able to resize a form.